Enhanced interactions. Developing further on the current interaction capabilities within Elite Parks, we have now added the functionality that allows you to email interactions direct from the system, both singularly and in bulk. This functionality provides the users with a simple way to get documents and communications out to customers. Firstly, if we head to our lead management setup, In the lead management setup, there is now an interaction section here, and on this side we'll see advanced interactions. You will need to enable this feature here. In addition, there is also storage options to allow you to store the interactions which you send from the system. This means you can keep a full audit log of anything you've sent to your customers. If we head to our completed deal. In our deal record, if I head to the process and select create interaction, the new interaction dialog, you'll see we have code, delivery method, and a send as field. The code, you will select any custom report layout which you have set against the document set that you are looking at. In this case, I'm looking at the completed deal. The delivery method, we can choose between email and print. The send as allows you to specify who you're sending this as, so whether it be yourself or an account's email address, for example. You can set this up against your layouts as well, so that this will default. And also, you can set it against your Elite Parks user setup and specify the email which you want to send from. In this instance, I'm going to leave this blank. I can press OK. The system will then generate our layout. In this case, you'll see here I have my email draft layout and I also have my PDF attachment, which I can download by clicking on here and opening the file to view my document. This interaction can then be sent. You'll see as we scroll down the card, if we head to the comment section on the deal, you'll also get a log of any completed interaction that's been sent from the system. In addition, you'll also be able to view that interaction and see the details, knowing when it was sent, who it was sent from, and the process time. You are also able to view the attachment. If we head to our interaction layouts, you'll see in here, I have my insurance interaction layout, which specifies not only a report ID for the attachment, as specified here, but also it allows me to name my email attachment, the subject of my email, and furthermore, insert an email body layout for my interaction. You'll notice here as well, we are also able to stipulate a from email address. So for example, any interactions which come from a set email address, i.e. of accounts or sales, you could set that against the relevant interaction to ensure the send out was always sent by that email address. We are also able to do this in bulk. This operation can be completed from the interaction journal. This interaction journal allows you to populate your journal based on an interaction template. In this case, as we are using the insurance, this is related to any completed deal records. You can specify the delivery method and whether or not we want this to print or email. We also have on this side the option to filter so we can select our records that we want to send this particular interaction to. I'm going to filter this by the general rates number as an example. If I select OK, you'll see it will return me any results. And here I have two people against this particular band rate. If I then select processing from the top and create interaction, you'll see it will add the detail for my deals onto the lines. In this instance, we have just the two records. 
And as these methods are both for print, it doesn't matter that there is no email address populated. You'll also notice that there are fields for whether or not an error has occurred, and it will also specify that error here, so you are able to address it. And also process the whole batch, so all of your lines within your journal, or you can process a single line if you need to. Process these. You'll see it'll run through my report, and what will be downloaded is a zip folder with the individual PDFs ready to be printed. Thank you.